Drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. Call me Cardi B. I run this shit like Cardi. Oh, 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 my God. Elena, not only an OMG fan, but also a Fox 5 viewer who I ran into. Big happy birthday to you. You look fabulous. You are making 50 look great. Speaking of celebrations. Uh, what's going on? It's absolute chaos, but in a good way. I don't even know if you can hear me. I can't hear myself. We've got people jumping up, dancing. Honestly, there's no room for us to really move at this point. There's people kissing and hugging. No, 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 no. That's my job. We're so excited. Everybody is dancing. Everybody give me your chops. Yeah! Okay. How are we going to celebrate tonight? Let's go! Yes. They on a roll. Dolly hype about it. Mm-hmm. Oh, yes, she is. Um, we, we first had that wild card win. Yep. We had the stunning victory over the Dodgers, over L.A. Then we uh, we have us go to the World Series. Yep. We're going to the World Series, folks. D.C. Uh, is victorious right now. This is it's a good time to be a, a D.C. sports fan. Mm-hmm. And um, I don't think that there is anybody happier about this ride than this person. This was a song that people wanted to, to stop. And now we just cannot get enough of it after Gerardo Pera used it as his walk-on song during the summer because one of his kids really loves it. Then everybody's doing the shark chomp. Before you know it, we got Ping Fong sending the baby sharks to the team. They're in the dugout. You saw it um, in the fence. It's, it's become this good luck charm and, and really the theme song of this ball club. So uh, so Baby Ren is, is so excited along with the rest of us. Mm-hmm. And um, and so, yeah, um, go Baby Shark, go Nats. We are rooting for you. This is a great time to be a fan, as I've said before, in this town. Yes. Uh, with the Mystics. We, we cannot forget about Woo-hoo! the Mystics. We got to yes, give ladies. them some love. They are national champions. Oh, my goodness. The first time in the team's history. Huge. Um, Elena, Elena Deladon mm-hmm. playing with her back injury. Mm. I mean, Unbelievable. Playing through the pain. Warrior. This is what champions are made of. And then they popped um, off over the weekend in the city. I was out there (laughs) celebrating. Angie, why weren't you on the court, though? You got some skills. What you talking about? Pump the jam. Pump it up. Why your feet are stumping. And the jam is pumping. Look ahead. The crowd is jumping. There's a saying that uh, we don't get things we pray for. We get things we wait for. Oh, I like that. Mm -hmm. And, and, and as sports fans, we've waited a long time to, to get to this point and what we're seeing um, unfold. But I will tell you that there there was a lot of prayer going on uh, this past <laughs> weekend. First, I mean, and it started before I even left the house because I'm like, oh, please, Lord, please, Lord, hear my prayer. I'm taking all three children to the church. OK, so uh, we brought all three there. And I know I'm not supposed to have my phone out um, in church. In but, service. But I looked at the other end of the pew and I I could just see baby Bren, she's just talking up a storm and, and Robert doing everything in his power to like silently scream at her, you know, basically be like, Bren. and, and, and it was such a beautiful moment because she was so innocent and so sweet. Um, and, and then another picture you can see here, Adora being your typical eight year old, just trying to keep her eyes open. <laughs> I remember like, those days. Bob is vandalizing the the church pamphlet. <laughs> Anybody got a pen? You know, I'm like, why did I bring you guys here? And um, and then the moment the deacon dismissed the people, this was the scene. Yeah, my kids going mock two on piggyback, <laughs> and we couldn't stop them. Out the Shoosh. door, down to get get their donuts in the Twizzlers. 
and, and after in the church coffee room brunch. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we but, have um, been there. Oh, I remember those days. But uh, but we did pray a lot, and we prayed a lot for the Nats and um, for everything else. And I did make sure the kids pray. I, I mean, I looked at them. And I go, pray for your grandparents. Pray yeah. for the military. And they were like, I am, I am. You know. So Aww. I'm hoping they did. So a big. Amen to that. Mm-hmm. She was a little girl who looked up there and won hearts everywhere. And now Parker Curry and her mom have penned a children's book that really highlights this extraordinary experience they had here in the Washington area, here in the nation's capital at the National Portrait Gallery of Art. And today we are so excited to have the most adorable guest ever. Yes. Parker Curry. Yay! Welcome. You are a star, my dear. You are a star. And and not only are you a star, what else are you? And a trailblazer. Oh, yes, you are. I think that you have something to do with this, right? Yeah, because my mommy taught me. She taught you. Wow. She, I, I did the rest, but she helped me a little bit. A tiny bit. Parker, you're an author, right? Uh-huh. When you were in the museum and you first saw the portrait of the First Lady, what were you thinking? Uh, make her feel inspired. It made you feel inspired. What made you feel inspired? Her portrait, her face, her, her innocence, her, her possibility. I was looking up and then I was daydreaming. Mmm, so about it made you dream. Future. And so tell me a little bit about that day, Mom, because the events that followed, something that you oh could gosh. have never anticipated. You, you know, I, you know why I like you? You're like my soulmate. I take my kids out of school to take them to the museum. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I took my kids, you know, I took them to that Kusama because that, that was the only time oh, yeah. I got that I could get that ticket to go see that light exhibit yeah, with we, all the we, mirrors. Yeah, we couldn't get tickets to it. We tried. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I had one shot and, and I I took them out of school because my kids love art and I believe that art is learning. And I feel like those experiences that 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 is it's it's invaluable. I Absolutely. know they have field trips, but it's so different when you do have the time. You're not with a group, and you can do these one on one things. And as we could see with your own story, remarkable things can happen. Um, so so looking back to that day, um, what were you thinking as you watched your daughter look in awe at this painting? Well, obviously, initially I was frustrated because she wouldn't turn around, <laughs> and 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 frankly, you know, I didn't realize she was that awestruck until I saw the photo and I could see the side profile of what her face, absolutely, right? Um, So I just knew that she was fixated because I was behind her and she wouldn't turn around for me. And by the time she turned around, she was zipping down the hall, you know, and I had (laughs) missed it. So when I first saw the picture and... And did you know somebody was taking a picture at the moment? No, not at all. It was a stranger who was just kind of on the sidelines. He was actually waiting in line to have that kind of frontal view um, of her portrait. And he took the photo. He said he felt like he was witnessing a really special moment. And um, he just felt compelled to take the photo. And it's a good thing he did because all of us um, have drawn some inspiration from the photo. And it's obviously inspired us to write this book and Mm -hmm. share that moment with everyone. I think it's also amazing because you're like, I was frustrated that she didn't turn around. And there's so many times that don't kids, even though they're going a million miles an hour, they teach us patience in a way. Absolutely. And the value of being present. And it's moments like that that you look back and you're like, gosh, you know, this could have gone by like that. Yeah. And I miss this opportunity to really savor that moment. And, you know, I think God works in mysterious ways. There's a reason why that that guy was there. What has your daughter taught you? Well, I think, and I hate to go back to the book again but I mean she taught me has taught me to you know it's never too late or too early to dream big dreams I mean this book like sitting here looking at it touching it oh 
You know, oh, girl, I'm getting chills. Oh, I, know, I, know. I know, I know. You know, just to be able to look at it, it's, oh. it was absolutely like a dream, and like we're touching it, and it's here, oh. and it's and it's the same it's, photo. It's from the same the day. photo from the day. And if you read the the story, <laughs> you waving, getting teary getting too. Teary too. <laughs> I know, <laughs> no, no, girl. Teary and here. like, and she's touching it too. I know. It's all the feels yeah. up here, girl. I <laughs> what, know. What a lot of people don't know is that what's special about this book is that all the other artwork I'm that is. My mommy. <laughs> Oh, you're fanning me. Thank you. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not teary anymore. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I, I got my emotions under control. <laughs> this book, uh, the other artwork that precedes the portrait of Michelle Obama is artwork that she actually looked at that day. There's photos mm. in my phone of her looking at the two peacocks with the red eyes and the portrait of the ballerinas with the frilly white tutus. So, like, this story is... It's it's that day, you know, and so when I read it, I feel like we're there again. And so my my hope is that other people will feel that, too, because it's just like the day we were there. Yes, it, it captured that moment in time, Absolutely. that day in time. And it's going to live forever now. I'm um, printed in a book that everybody can enjoy. Um, so, Parker, I want to see, could you share some of your book with me? Parker looks up in the stirring moment. Parker Curry loved to dance. That's in her favorite to do. She imagined she was a dancing queen. Wait for me, Parker called, dancing after her friend until she froze. She she froze in her tracks. Bell bell. Parker Curry looked up. What are the first? Lady loomed, loomed before, before her. her. Would you read that? That's yes. Like yes, I'll place. read that part. She had rich brown yes. skin, just yes. like yes. Parker, and kind, familiar eyes that reminded Parker of her mother, her grandmother, her sister, and even of herself. How could someone look so real and so magical at the same time? She is a queen, Parker whispered, unable to look away, to move, to breathe. Do you know what I want to be when I grow up? What? This, this, and this. A gymnast, a ballerina, and an artist. Parker Curry was feeling powerful and strong. And you, 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 even though she hadn't moved until... Inside, she was dancing. Mm. Right? <laughs> and then, Parker, can you turn the book over? I want to see. I love this photo. You read the book so well, and I got so emotional because she, Brittany was all the little and older black girls, you know, the girls of color like you, are going to be so inspired by your book. Now, this is my Michelle Obama dress, but I, I wrote it. Is that for Halloween? Mm-hmm. Obviously, when she said last year she wanted to be Michelle Obama for Halloween, me and Dad were like, how are we going to replicate this? <laughs> how do we do that? How do we make it clear that she's Michelle Obama? When you wear that dress, how does it make you feel? Mm, like Michelle Obama. Like Michelle Obama. But like a queen, I, right? I, but I need to get them, those Michelle Obama slippers. Oh. Yes, we got to get those. Yeah, those. And Michelle Obama lip gloss. Parker, your lip Michelle gloss. Obama, <laughs> oh, does Mo have some lip gloss too? Parker, so I did want to ask you real quick, because you did meet the first lady, right? Mm-hmm. You met Miss. How was that? You guys, you danced a little? What? Yeah. We did. Was she nice? Yeah. We, do you know what song we danced to? What? Shake it off. Shake, shake it, it off. Shake it off. Shake, shake, shake. My daughter, her name is Ren, and she's two years old. Like my sister. Yes, Yes, like Ava. So if you had to give Ren any advice or any tips, what would you tell her? Work hard. Work hard. (laughs) Great. And you know what? She loves to dance also. And get that money. Ooh! (laughs) That money. Oh, my gosh. Parker, you're so silly. We got a little Parker B right here. <laughs> we have Halloween coming up. Are you excited about that? Yeah, guess what I'm going to be for Halloween. What? Uh, you're going to have to guess. The Moana? No. Tiana? Who is it? No. Jasmine? No. Is it Sophie? Elsa? <laughs> Thank Sophia. you. Yeah, yeah, princess, are you talking yeah, about Sophia? Sophia? Princess Sophia? Oh, yeah, yeah, Sophia the... Yeah, the ball. Thank yeah, you, girl. Yeah, the ball. Yeah, the ball. Yeah, the ball. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the ball. 
So what is next after this? Today is our pub date. So, yeah. so Parker looks up is out. So officially Great available. Yeah. Parker's a fi- uh, officially a published author at four years old. Wow. Yes. Um, where, available where at can Amazon. People, find, yeah. people can find it on Amazon, on Borders.com, or in the store at Books A Million online or in the store. Parker, I, I wanted to ask you a question. I get, um, I get a sign now. Could you, yeah, can I get your autograph? Of course. Yeah. So we have this book coming out this well, today, and, uh-huh. and we have another book coming out next fall with Simon oh. and Schuster. And um, we're hoping that maybe we can uh, turn Parker Looks Up into a series. I will not mess it up. I will not mess it up. <laughs> I will not mess it up. I want to thank your mom for bringing you by as well. Thank you for having us. What's the book called? Parker, Parker looks, up. looks Up. An extraordinary moment, and this has been an extraordinary time having you and your mom in studio with us. Do come back and visit us, okay? Happy Halloween! Now time for this week's Awakening. This is the time of year where we fret over what are we going to be for Halloween. A lot of times people don't want to go out and spend a lot of money mm-hmm. on something they might only wear once. I'm so happy, by the way, that I'm getting two uses out of the sushi roll that I bought like <laughs> 10 years ago. That's as close as you can get to white rice, by the way. Um, <laughs> But but it's true. So so people they don't want to they, they they don't want to spend too much money on something they might not wear again. So in this week's awakening, mm-hmm. I want to introduce you to a woman named Kelly Carnes who has gone on to create a brilliant idea. Consider this the rent the runway meets Airbnb when it comes to costume rentals. I'm here with Kelly Carnes, and this is your spectacular idea for people who have trouble figuring out who they want to be for Halloween. Trove. What do you do at Trove? Trove is the world's first peer-to-peer costume rental platform. So you can rent all this? All of it and more, baby. That's right. And if you just need to rent a whole costume or a piece of a costume, that could be an option as well, right? Yeah, absolutely. Whole costumes, whole looks, pieces, something to complete your very perfect look. We've got it all on Trove. So really cool idea. I mean, I think this thing is going to take off. It is going to take off. So um, yes. why didn't I think of this idea? I know. With all my Super costumes. smart. Holy moly. But it's it's wonderful to see another woman-owned business mm-hmm. that, that is is um, doing really well. And by the way, she did say that it's not too late to get your costumes. And basically, you can negotiate the shipping with whoever you want to rent it from. So if you want to expedite it, you can make that happen. So there's not like a, a waiting period. You, you just have to work that out with, with the person who's selling it so um that's that's cool to have that flexibility oh my god <laughs> so we finally made it to the pumpkin patch because it wasn't 98 degrees for the first time ever as we get into the end of october and talk about a fall haul we able to we were able to get this to the to the car and to the house everybody was looking at us really funny but don't worry we have a plan for these interesting gourds so you're gonna have to stay tuned for that and i just know that this is a time that gets really busy for people especially yes. with the kids back in school so a good reminder that fall does go by quickly it's going to be gone before we know it winter will be here so just take a moment and breathe and and really try to, to take time and take that moment to, to spend time with those you love yes. and make memories that they will never forget. Before we go, also one more thing. Um, we have our crystal ball here because we, we are talking about the gnat still and we're yep. so excited and we want to find out. First, we're going to go with the eight ball. Will the gnats win the World Series? Signs point to yes. Hey! hey! I'm so sorry. Oh, that was for the Cardinals again. <laughs> okay, and um, and then we have my crystal ball here. Is what is what is this I see? Oh my gosh! It, it is the opponent going down. It is the Nationals. Doing what they do best. Doing what they do in baseball. And that is bringing it home. We're winning the World Series. You saw it right here on the Oh My Golf Show. 
Thanks for every, everybody for joining us. Uh, this has been so much fun. Yes. This is where um, dreams are told, dreams are made. Yep. And just a reminder that you can also check out our website because we're going to put um, some more fun stuff that you can do this fall. Yes. As well and as- And also um, uh, Parker's new book, Parker yeah. Looks Up. We'll put that on Fave Things on ohmygolf.com because you can purchase that on Amazon and more. All these Halloween goodies. Uh, you see, we are in full theme now. Yeah. Here we go. Costume up next. That's right. And as Dolly would say, go Nats. I need some of that. That beer. This is this is predictable. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! What can I tell you? I got the costume, and it was the good luck charm. We do want to remind you. You already had this costume. That's her. right. That's, that's right. She bought today. And are you amazed that I can walk in it and I can see these things? This is tough. This is tough.